What's up everybody? So I am off on another adventure today. We are headed to the Wayne National Forest. I was on the Appalachian Trail in Pennsylvania two weeks ago and I didn't film it because I just wanted to relax. But I am going to take you along on this one. So let's go. So Ohio, you have a major problem. We're on the east side of the Wayne. We went to this one, closed. Went down to this one, closed. Went up to this one. I don't even know what to call that. Run down, not maintained, closed. So now, we're way down at this Lane Farm campground, which Pretty lame if you guys call this a campground. Not to mention the river that it's on. There's oil wells all up and down it. So I'm sure that's some nice healthy water. Got Chris. And uh, since it's late, drove all day. We're just gonna stay here for the night and uh, we'll figure something else out in the morning. Ohio, letting me down, man, letting me down. Been down to Vesuvius, we went down there, and it was nice and beautiful down there. Been over to the Burr Oak Campground on the other side of the Wayne. Beautiful over there. This part, not so much. So I got up to 70 today, but it's supposed to get cold the next couple days. So I brought the teepee, we got that set up, and we're gonna throw the stove in there. Probably just get set up and hunker down tonight, and then go somewhere different tomorrow. It's late, so we're just gonna do some chicken. Just throwing some seasoning on it. Wrap it up and throw it right in the fire. Got some water boiling for some mac and cheese. Be a good quick meal tonight. Since we're at a campground, there's literally no wood, so screw the grate. We're just gonna cook right on the flames. One of the things Chris and I always make is some Velveeta shells and cheese. You know about the Velveeta shells and cheese. Slamming. Definitely slamming. Well, the temperature definitely dropped. Got the wool hat on. Got the Lester River Bushcraft anorak on. And drinking some hot chocolate. Giving our chicken the final touch. They were saying something about panthers in Ohio. Oh my god, there's a panther. Chris, there's a panther. Oh no. Get it, Ben. Oh my god, it's huge. Well, it's about, what would you say the temperature is right now? It's about 45, 46, I'd say. High 40s anyway, and tonight we're supposed to get a super cold front, so it's supposed to dip down into the 30s, maybe even snow. So again, we brought the uh, PP. Tomorrow we'll probably do a primitive shelter, but today we were just had to set something up quick. So I brought the TP. It's super lightweight, super easy. Got the titanium stove in there. We cut some wood up. So we got some wood just in case it does get cold so we'll be nice and toasty in there just got our pads basically tarp on the ground wool blanket pads and then 
sleeping bag just go right on top of that. Should be nice and cozy. So we got our wood supply for the evening and we went ahead and started up the stove. I keep telling Chris it's gonna get toasty in here. You're gonna be down to your t-shirt in a minute, bro. <laughs> Trust me. She's going good enough now we can start to damper it down. Well, here comes the weather. It got windy and now it's raining. Camera's all fogged up, but we're nice and dry. Looks like it got down to 41 last night. Probably can't see that, but in the last four hours, it got down to 41. Were you warm all night? That was good. Tasty. Well, it has been hammering down rain and wind all morning and it finally stopped. So we are going to go check out another campsite. We are now in West Virginia. And welcome back to Ohio. Now we got sleep. Well, we spent all day driving to our other spot to find out that was closed too. So we found ourselves a trailhead in the National Forest and uh, just set up camp here. It snowed all day. Actually, warmed up a little bit tonight but there's still a little bit of snow on the ground and it's still puttering snow but we got the teepee set up again tonight we just got the stove going in here just to dry it out because everything was soaked this morning so just getting everything dried out and uh you can see there's some snow still back there we'll just let that dry out and uh Get set up here for the night. It's nice here because there's plenty of woods, so there's plenty of firewood we can use. Just been pulling down the dead standing stuff, and even with as wet as it is out, got our fire going. Ate some dinner. Well, we didn't film much last night because of the weather. It was uh, super windy and snowy, so we just ate and. Uh, hunkered down in the teepee there. Stayed warm all night. How'd you sleep last night? Slept like a baby. Yeah, it was good. Got the fire on the go this morning. Just trying to warm up a little bit. How's the oatmeal? Good. The apple's the way to go right there. Boy. Chris and I are always experimenting with new food when we come out to the woods, so we brought these little pies. Just warm them up. We can warm them up on the stove. In the teepee, it worked pretty well. But the apples and cinnamon oatmeal is a staple. And the Velveeta shells and cheese is a staple. Oh, yeah. In the uh, teepee. Got down to about 35 in the teepee last night, so probably a little cooler than that outside with the wind. But uh, Chris has the Thermarest Ridge Rest with the reflective on one side. And then we bought these climate mats yesterday. We stopped by a uh, sporting goods store here in Ohio and uh, <clears throat> bought these. They had two left and the lady gave us a good deal on them. So they're the Climate Static V. Not insulated, but sleeping on the ground, it gets you 
up a little bit. It definitely does add some warmth and um, definitely much comfortable. And then he's just got a wool blanket and a uh, just a reflective tarp. And then he's got his military sleep system, both bags with the bivy. Needless to say, if he wasn't toasty, he's a crackhead. And then on my side, pretty much same setup. Just got one of these uh, cheap, reflective, I don't even know if you could call it a tarp. It's pretty thin, mylar blanket type thing. Thermarest, um, same static V. And then I just have a snug pack zero degree bag. And that climate pillow came in the battle box, so I'm trying that out. But Oh, and a wool blanket too. So yeah, plenty warm. Uh, we kept the temperature in here in the 60s, 70s when we were tending to the stove. And uh, when we let it go out, got down to 40s or so. So both slept pretty good both nights. Definitely a nice setup for portability lightweight and uh, to have a uh, a large area to sleep in with a stove in the cooler months definitely sweet sweet setup for that well that about wraps up another weekend camp couple nights out testing some gear and uh, just hanging out relaxing sorry I didn't film a whole lot again it's hard man when I'm out here trying to have fun <laughs> and trying to film at the same time I always forget the camera but we'll get another video up here again sometime soon so I'll check y'all later